Okay, so briefly today I'm just going to show you how to use the calibration station. It's uh, really user friendly, but we'll just go over it very quickly just, just for your benefit. So we'll just start out with the level. What you do for a horizontal level is you'll place it at the bottom of the calibration station. You'll confirm that the bubble is within the spec. And then same thing for the vertical level. Place it against the metal plate here. Confirm that the bubble is within your specifications. And then you'll put it on the 45. This level doesn't actually have a 45, but the, the idea is the same. And then you'll have the stickers that says level, 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 just to make it even easier. And then once you confirm that the level is within your specifications for all three angles, you'll take a sticker out of the bin, you'll place it on the level, write the expiration date, and you're good to go with the level. So the next tool we'll show you how to calibrate is the square. It's really simple. You'll just, to calibrate the inside of the square, you'll place it on the outside of the calibration station square. You'll just confirm that it fits up nice and tightly and snug, that hasn't been dropped or heated up, heated and warped or anything like that. And then check the outside part of the square, you'll place on the inside of the calibrated square and confirm the same. It fits nice and snug. In this case it does. So we know that the square is calibrated. We'll take a sticker out of the bin, place it on the square, put an expiration date, and you're ready to use the square. The final thing we'll look at today on how to use the calibration station is a tape measure. If you have a calibrated six inch mark right here, it's very visible on this yellow paint, use it black. And then what you'll do is you have two, two slots right here. On the, the bottom slot is going to be the pull part of the, of the tape measure. So you put in this slot, you pull against that slot, and verify that it lines up exactly with the six inch mark. And then on the top slot, you'll put it in, put in the slot, push against the slot, and verify that it lines up exactly with the six inch mark. This is a common problem with the tape measure because, as everyone knows, the rivets <coughs> can get loose and worn over time, and there's some, some play in the tab. So this is a one really easy way of verifying that it's good to go, either whether you're pushing or pulling uh, on measuring something. Once you verify that it is calibrated and that it's within spec, you'll take a label out of the basket, just like this one here. You'll place it on the tape measure, and then that's it, you're done.